This will be the last pace for Math 1093. We're going to take you 38 all the way up to 46. <clears throat> These are called transformations of graphs. And so we can take a figure that we have graphed, and there's three things we can do with it. One is a translation, secondly, reflection, and third, rotation. Let me first just illustrate what these mean first, and then we'll come back and talk about how to do each one. So translation would be taking a shape and sliding it maybe just over, or maybe sliding it over and down, okay? or maybe just down, but it keeps its same orientation but just lands in a different spot. And so the directions will always tell you how many places over, okay, and how many places up or down to move. And then you're going to take each of the coordinates of that shape, maybe it's a triangle, okay. So you'll take each of those three points and you'll do the same thing, maybe over four, up one. Take this one, over four, up one. This one, over four, up one. And then you label those three points. <clears throat> now, if one of the points here is called point A, then when you go over and up, and you have it here, let's say, we call it A prime. So you put a little tick mark behind it, it's called A prime. So that's the first one, just the translation, and that's probably the easiest. <clears throat> reflection, I'll do it like this, okay? So maybe the shape is here, and then if it's being reflected, it's like it's showing up over here, okay? So it started over here, you're reflecting it across the axis. So it's two units away here, so then we're going to reflect it two units away over here, but otherwise keeping it the same. So it just completely... <clears throat> If this was, let's say, you know, this was two units away, and let's say this was four units away here, and when you flip it, it's two units and four units in the opposite, all right? You could also start like up here and rotate, not rotate, reflect it across this axis. So you could reflect it either direction or from here over to here, all right? So you get the idea you're reflecting it, and the distance away from the axis will stay the same for each of the vertexes, vertices, of the shape you're reflecting. Now, let's talk about a harder one, <laughs> and that is rotation. Where's my green marker? Okay. So I'm going to take a, make a triangle here. And I want to rotate it over to here. So this has the point, this is this point right here is three, or excuse me, negative three, one. This is one, negative one, one. And then this one is negative one, two. So to do the rotation, the rule is, can okay, I watch this, we're going to flip the two numbers. So the x becomes the y, the y becomes the x, and then the y value we multiply by negative 1. So there's two steps. We come up with the new point by taking these and flipping them, and then changing the second one to its opposite. <clears throat> so this would become 1, negative 3, but I change the second one to be positive. Negative 1, 1 becomes 1, negative 1, but I change the second one and make it positive. This one becomes 2, negative 1, but I change the second one and it becomes positive. So I'm going to take these three points here now, here, here, and here, and graph them. Let's see, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3. And that was point A, so I'm going to call that A prime. Point B is going to be the point 1, 1. So right here, B prime. C is going to be the point 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. C prime. Okay? And now we just connect those points. 
and it has rotated, okay? So it's like it's been picked up and rotated across the axis. <clears throat> it's a little trickier. It's really just a matter of following the rule though. So there's two steps again to do the rotation. We flip the X and the Y values, multiply the Y value, the new Y value, by negative one. So it changes to its opposite, <clears throat> and then we graph those new points. I think in the homework, they also have you do some things where you do a 90 degree, which is going this way, and then 180 degrees means once you've gotten here, then you do the same thing again, but that's going to bring it down here. So you're going to take the, the value of the point here and flip the numbers again, change the second number to its negative or to its opposite, which will bring it down here, same here, and then this will come all the way down here. And so the shape will end up down in here, okay? <clears throat> Hopefully you followed all that. And do your best following the examples and uh, study them carefully before, make sure you understand where each step is coming from and each uh, movement in these three types, translation, reflection, rotation. And that brings us to the end of 1093.